Hey everybody, what's going on in Nation? Wanted to check in with you once again, say hello. I wanted to try and do a little follow-up to yesterday about Plan B. Plan B is very important because it's the plan that's going on right now. It's the plan of everyone's life. Uh, my life has not gone and sometimes is not going the way I would have wanted. Even if you asked me 10 years ago what I want my life to look like, I wouldn't have asked for certain aspects of it now. The other most important thing about Plan B, and I don't understand any of this, guys. Don't think that I'm coming to you with some kind of great knowledge per se because I've reached a certain place. I really haven't. I'm still working through it like you guys. I'm still wrestling. I'm still asking God, why did you do it this way? I'm not so nice and saying, okay, thank you for not giving me this or not giving me that. I'm still in the stage of not understanding. I can say thank you on one level, but on another level, I'm still asking you. I still want to wrestle with you a little bit. You know, maybe that's why I'm dealing with some of the physical uh, tikkunim that I have, because I'm maybe too much of a fighter, too much of a wrestler. I don't know. If you knew me when I was younger, you would you would know that that's really true. But the most important thing that I'm learning about Plan B, which is my plan, your plan, Hashem's plan, we have to learn how in this existence to work through our pain and our brokenness in order to be able to bring hope and life and love and truth to everyone we meet and most importantly to ourselves. I spend a lot of time with people, talking to people, listening to people. That's kind of what I do for a living. And even when I'm not working or, or I have a job, like some people have a job, uh, I still do it. I still listen to people. They call me and I listen and we talk, but mostly I listen. The most important thing that somebody shared with me recently, because I shared with them, I said, man, I have all these things I'm dealing with, all these struggles, problems, difficulties, issues. I don't really know if I'm so great at helping other people work through their stuff. And the man looked at me and he said, yes, you are, because you're learning how to use what you've been through to help other people. So in other words, you're a person who's been wounded and you know how to help people because of your woundedness. And that's exactly the greatest aspect of Plan B. Moses receives from Sinai and it's smashed because of the golden calf. God says on Yom Kippur, Salakti, it's all good, no worries, you're forgiven. So we get new tablets which aren't as exciting. There's no thunder, there's no smoke, they're just new tablets. And we have to learn to work through the brokenness. We, we can't be trapped in our past of the broken tablets. And we can't be so worried about the future because it doesn't look great sometimes. Somehow we're learning to live with the brokenness that is our lives in this very moment. Working through that brokenness in this very moment, the things that aren't working today. Working through that so that we can go forward. Because the reality of what we have is what we have right now. That's all we can do. 
And again, guys, I'm not telling you that, oh, I've really achieved something or uh, so many things. Uh, I have achieved a lot of things. I won't lie. There are many ways I can help you. I can help people. There are many ways where I'm still struggling. I'm still working. I'm still trying to figure out why doesn't this work? Why aren't things different? Why aren't they working out differently for me? Or my family, mostly for my wife and my children. Sometimes I get frustrated because I'm like, wow, you know, I think it should be this way because it would make my wife happy. I think it would make my wife happy. It would make my children happy if we did this this way or if you, Hashem, allowed us to do this or do that. In the end, it is what it is. And, and I have to learn and you have to learn and we all have to learn to take those wounded places and learn from them and to go into a deep place that I haven't even found. I'm trying to want to go there, really, to be able to hide in those places and say, Okay, Hashem, I don't understand. I just know this is your plan. I'm doing the best I can. I'm going to keep wrestling with you. I'm going to keep talking to you. That's all I know to do.